Hi, I'm Lise Colucci. I'm one of the life coaches at Queen Being. Today we're talking about what it means when the narcissist says, I love you, and what it feels like, how it feels. And I have a lot of quotes here from survivors with their permission to use here. Um, I will read those to you. I'm going to talk a little, just a short bit about what it means. And a narcissist, when they say, I love you, they love like a possession. Angie has a video about I love you like a cell phone. Well, that's pretty much how it is. They love you as if you belong to them and you are owned by them. You're a possession. You're not an individual with your own thoughts and feelings. You are there to serve their needs. The survivor will often feel like something's not right, like they feel objectified or used or often like they don't even exist, like they're not a real person anymore and they've lost their identity. And at the same time, they're equating that to feeling loved. So uh, a narcissist will love from the position of what others give to them. So they will love the things that someone does for them, not necessarily the person specifically. Does that make sense? So let's hear some of the things that some of the survivors said about how it felt to them. One person says, they think they love you for what they can use you for, money, status, and supply exactly what I was saying, right? <laughs> um, another person says he still says I'm the love of his life, but rarely says I love you anymore. And he's been living with new supplies since, since September. He always seemed flippant and insecure when he said it anyway. He said his new supplies love for him is so deep and he knew her less than two months. And when I ask him if he loves her, he says he doesn't really know her. Never get a straight answer from him about anything. Used, yes, but only when it's convenient for him. And I fit into his schedule. It feels like I wasted 20 years of myself on this marriage and never really existed. Wandering in the wasteland, waiting. I have to end this. Yeah, that's a bad cycle. And it's, it's a good description of the feeling of it never being um, truly a love coming towards you, right? Another person here says, when he said, I love you, what he was really saying was that I love that I'm able to use you. It felt like giving to a black hole. No matter how much I gave, it was never enough. He thrived, and as I merely survived, it was exhausting. And again, mine only said it when he needed something from me. Toward the end, it was very apparent to me. My eyes were opened, so it didn't mean anything to me anymore. The first three months after I learned, what he was, which was six months after the initial breakup and many discard cycles later. It hurt so bad, it took my breath away. I really cannot explain how deeply it hurt after the initial breakup and the following nine months. I still do, but it's not as strong. I have never been so depressed and cried so much in my entire life. It makes me nauseous to think about it. Another survivor says my ex used the word as a control tactic. He said he loved me within one month of knowing me. Suddenly, while we were talking very casually about something else, he would say, yeah, I love you. Oh, I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry. He was looking down all the time. It didn't fit the moment. It was weird. He never looked at me either when I consoled his embarrassment and said it back. Then when I would say it, he wouldn't say it back. When asked, he'd say, I only say it when I feel it. You shouldn't expect it. I noticed he'd say it more when he was feeling insecure. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep. And when he'd start to sense I wasn't happy, he'd say it to me, but in, in a question form. He'd always ask me if I loved him. And he never said it on the phone. He used to say, I love you, like a weapon against me. <sighs> okay, so another survivor here says, I felt used and manipulated. Made me feel I had no value as a person. The words I spoke or my feelings didn't matter and, or have impact in the relationship. I was told I was a nag and pressuring for just asking questions. Mostly I felt neglected and unloved. I feel she used the words for herself to feel better and to keep me quiet and where she wanted me. Here's another. I love you really means I love the attention. I love that you give to me and I love how it makes me feel. Eventually you realize it was only you giving, but never on the receiving end of that kind of love and attention. And yet another. 
the words spoken, I love you, always flood my brain with images. More of a reliving and experiencing of the emotions of fleeting moments shared. I understand that was the purpose the words were spoken. When he spoke them, I entered an emotional and physically induced state of delusion. That is such a good description. And yes, as if what I was feeling was total reality. Another survivor says, the whole I love you thing always felt instrumental. During the love bombing, I felt it was presented euthanistic. Later on, I was the only one saying it, with the narcissist responding with, thank you. I never felt peaceful or natural, not, it never felt peaceful or natural, not ever. And again, I love you from him means I love having you. We are separated, getting divorced, and still he says it constantly. I feel like I am being reminded that I am nothing more than property, or a pet, or a thing he owns. I told him yesterday at some point that he will be with someone else and will say it, and he agreed with me. I asked how it would make him feel if I did that, and he said it would, he would be enraged and want to kill the other man. I don't believe this is love at all. I don't think he knows how to feel any other way. I feel trapped and smothered by it but sad for him as well because he doesn't understand what I felt for him and what he has really lost. And yet another, I love you is not something she says. You know I love you, don't you? That's, that's what she asks lately. And when she asks, I'm afraid to answer because I don't feel loved by her. I feel used. I feel as though I have traded my efforts for criticism, turned over my trust and, and had it destroyed with contempt. For those of us who can now see, love is not a thing to say, it is a thing to do. I always said I loved you, and he would follow with I love you more. I think it's hard for them to say it. He would text it sometimes, but it seemed like an emotional struggle for him. His fa at his father's funeral, in his speech, he called me the love of his life. And that was believable, but I just don't know how he felt about me and love in general. I don't think it is something he ever really truly understood or felt. It seemed robotic and unnatural. I did try to approach the subject with him and his response was, is an unaffectionate man and I have to accept that. I even asked him if he had ever loved anyone romantically and he said, no, he just cares for people. He would take it back and say he did love me and then the next week he didn't, etc., etc. This served as confirmation to me that any empathy he may have was constructed, sort of like what he learned it should be, but something he never actually experienced naturally. That was the last straw for me. I knew I could not fight for something that was not there to fight for. And yes, all the other narc traits were intertwined with this. Another survivor says his eyes were always dead when he said it, or he said it with, in conjunction with a put down or a guilt trip. I never felt like he meant it, especially in light of his actions. You can't treat someone like garbage and then convincingly say, I love you. It comes across like I love everything you can do for me. Every nice word or gesture from them is something they expect to, have, to be repaid when they demand it. They have no emotional connection to that word. It is about the equivalent of a normal person loving an Instapot. Usually it only came when I did something for her. She used the same tone when saying it to her friends when they gave her something. Another survivor says, mine rarely said it. He only told me more than once that love is shown. You don't have to say it. But he seemed to like to say it with his new supply. I saw their text messages. After he said he only wanted to be with me, a liar and always accused me of lying. And then he said, I don't really know what love is. Probably the truest statement he ever made. Someone else says, I love you, is said by the narcissist in two circumstances. One, when you say I love you to them, they are mirroring you. You say I love you and they copy what you say back to you. This is why we fall in love with them, because they copy, they copy us, so it is like we are falling in love with a copy of ourself. It is the good qualities of ourself that are mirrored back to us, and we believe these qualities are the narcissist qualities, but they are ours. Number two, they say I love you right after you give them supply. You don't you just gave them a huge compliment or you did something that made them feel full rather than empty. They are not saying I love you. Rather, I love what you just did for me and how you made me feel. So you can see, <laughs> this is ongoing and this is many people kind of saying similar stuff, right? So 
the feeling of being used by the narcissist. Yes. You feel angry because no matter how smart you are, they were able to slowly and insidiously manipulate you into giving your love, your time, your energy, and sometimes your money, forsake your dreams, wants, needs, until you yourself are physically and emotionally a small fraction of the person you once were. It is hard to even remember the person you once were. Once you wake up to the fact that you were only a temporary object to be used in the narcissist's eyes, you are very hurt and angry. You have been emotionally raped, and eventually you will heal, but you can never get back the time, the years and the decades of your life that were stolen from you. I find myself upset the most with the traits I always thought to be the good traits I have, to be giving, trusting, loving, compassionate, willing to work things out, etc., etc., used against me. So much so. I feel as now those traits are bad things that they don't serve me and have caused me harm. And then you feel guilt, endless amounts of guilt for betraying what you perceived as the good behaviors of your own emotions. To stand up for yourself at every corner that you doubt yourself. Am I being unreasonable? Why is it so hard all the time? Why do I have to scream and beg for what I thought I deserved, anyone deserves? Why do I feel taken for granted all the time? It's the breaking down of your own inner self that hurts not uncommon to feel used and basically betrayed by the person that claims they love you when you're with a narcissist. And it's important to understand these things so that when you are trauma bonded and you're hearing the love bombing coming at you and you're hearing the words and seeing the somewhat actions of the love bomb, you have some understanding of how it actually is and how the narcissist actually perceives love. So I hope this collection of words from other survivors is useful in helping you to feel validated and helping you to see you're not alone in what you've experienced. You are worth so much more and finding your way out of this and finding your way back to self-love and self-worth is a journey that survivors have to take and you're not alone in that journey. We, there are plenty of support groups and people out there that can help. Having love betrayed like that, this is often a hard one for people to hear and to accept and understand because it's not our normal experience of love and it's not the way love should be. Love shouldn't hurt like this. It shouldn't betray you and be using you. What are your thoughts on narcissists and love? And how did you feel? Did you feel used? Did you feel like a possession? What was that like for you? Or what is it like for you? And what is helping you to heal from that? Leave comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.